like to the west. From high above, Joe Bermuda says there's unmistakable evidence of an underground nuclear test in the DPRK. We noticed increased activity here and here, so they were actually moving dirt out or bringing dirt in. And although nothing is ever totally clear when it comes to the reclusive nation, Bermuda's believes... To the best of our knowledge, it was not a hydrogen bomb. But it's very troubling, he says, nonetheless. Well, we, we should be concerned, absolutely. <laughs> It was his work years ago on a project on the Korean People's Army that got Bermuda's hooked on the country. The author of five books about the DPRK, he does commercial intelligence analysis on a place he believes is driven by one thing. They believe that nuclear weapons are core to their nation's survival, and it's become a point of pride and part of the the core values of the nation. This was North Korea's fourth nuclear test. Each test, Bermuda's argues, brings the country closer to its goal of reaching the U.S. with a ballistic missile with a miniaturized nuclear weapon sitting on top. And each test, he says, is a statement by the country's leader that he's in charge. We can't exactly get into the mind of Kim Jong-un. He is in a position where he needs to prove himself on a regular basis at least now in, in the early years. Bermuda says what happened Wednesday represents not just a military threat, but it makes investors nervous too. It affects the economy in South Korea. It affects the economy in Japan. Somewhat affects the economy in China. It affects the economy in the United States, which then affects the economy back in China. And it's a cycle that, that actually feeds on itself. Now that the Republic of Korea has announced it's going to resume propaganda broadcasts aimed at their neighbors, the next move may be up to the DPRK. It does impact the North Koreans. How they react will be the key. Deciphering their intentions has kept Bermuda's busy for 30 years. Notice how these It's much more difficult than plotting their movements on these satellite images. Hendrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver. Which means they've been feeding it. North Koreans really don't use a lot of...